All right, guys, <clears throat> got a video for you. We are going to be, this week, we're going to be making a start menu for our game. So if you look at uh, my ring collector game, which is right here, if I hit play on my ring collector game, it will show a background image, and then a menu will pop up that says new game and quit. If you hit quit, it will close the game. If you hit new game, it's going to start the game for you. So if I just click this new game, you'll see it takes me into the game and then I can start playing the actual game. And then that's what we're going to make um, this week. So the first thing we're going to want to do for this video is we're going to want to get ourselves a background image for our game here. So this says green collector and you can see pretty much what you're supposed to be doing or the main aspect of my game is like is in the main first picture and you don't have to make that um, correlate to what you actually do in the game but it obviously makes more sense if your game has a picture that kind of gives you an idea or a feel for what you're doing in the game okay so um, what you guys need to do is you need to think of a name for your game and then create a font for the top that would be good and then a background image. So I'm gonna, um, and the game we're gonna be using is our jumping game that we have. Um, so the first thing I want to do, let me see if I can find what I was working on here. Jump dust. All right. So the game that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna. Um, so what you need to do is you need to go to Google, and you're gonna type in cool text generator, and click search <coughs> and then go to I think it's the second option here and then you can choose one of these for your game one of these texts now there's a whole there's a whole boatload of, of them so you can choose from one that you might like or whatever <coughs> I chose this tribal one here and what I was doing was I put my name of my game in here and I said my game is called jump dust and then I started messing around with what it looked like so I went to logo and the pattern <coughs> the pattern is like what's on the inside of that letter D and then the gradient I think is the color from top to bottom <coughs> and then it's got a out pattern outline let's change the pattern first I think I chose this. There's like a robot looking like metalish background. Yeah, that's the one I picked. And you can see it changed the background there. Now you can choose a different one. Well, I'm gonna choose that one. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I don't really care for that. Let's do another one. Maybe if you had a stars themed game, you could click one of those. Water based game, maybe that one. Jungle snowy technological kind of game I don't know there's all kinds of backgrounds I'll choose this one for now and let's go back to the logo again I'll choose a different outline gradient pick a new one um, wizard let's see what that looks like it's not bad and the overlay pattern. Oh, I think I already did that. Let's go back. Did it let me choose this? I don't know. I like that quite a bit. You can change the thickness here like this. That's the thickness of the background part. Let's do it like this. And you can also adjust the shadow. And you can adjust the offset of the shadow. You can add a whole bunch. So if you want to see what it actually looks like. Yeah, so you can see that. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. I just want I just want the text. So I'm gonna do save image as. 
and you're going to want to put this into you're going to want to put this into your game folder that's where you want to save it um, when it, before you go to save it take a look at the the text size that you use so this says text size 120 so that's what it generated up here at the top so if I change that number to something like 60 you're gonna see the size of the word changes so I'm gonna do I'm gonna save it as 120 because I think that looks good so I'm gonna do save image as and then right here I'm gonna come up here to jump dust and I'm gonna call it jump dust hyphen 120 and I'm even gonna put right here rock because that's my rocks version of it and I'm gonna hit save and then maybe I maybe I want to save a couple of these because I don't know what it's gonna look like exactly. Like maybe I want a bigger version of it, and I don't want to just scale it. Maybe I want it to already be that big. So I'm gonna do another save image, and then what did I say that size was? 160. So then I'm gonna change this size here to 60. So 160. Save. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna do another one. This one's gonna be 240. 40, not 2400 240 might be too big but we'll deal with it go back 240 create logo I don't know why it's not just generating the number there one sixty there we go I can just click it So I'm just scaling it up. I don't know what size I'll need, and if, if I want to go back and edit this again, I can do that. I'm just guessing that I'm going to need a bigger size for the front of my game. I don't know, though. All right, so say that save as, and then this one is going to be 210. So 210, save. OK, so now I have. A couple different saves for the the color for the the words on my game so let's go look and see where I saved that uh, I think I saved it oops go dot go dot stuff images text and there they are right there so yours is going to be saved into your game folder. I'll probably end up having to do the same for mine. So now I have a, uh, a the name of my game, and I printed out some different um, font types for that. So that's what you're going to want to do on this web page. Take your time. Make sure you get a good one you like. I'm going to have you guys submit that. And next, we're going to want to draw an image for the background so for the background here we're going to you we're going to go to pixel art so right here and you're going to do file new and then you want to do a width of 640 and a height of 360 so I'll hit new drawing and this size that I'm using is just <clears throat> It's a, a scaled down version of a 1920 1080, basically a 16 by 9 resolution. Um, and all that really means is this the shape of the monitor that you're using is going to be a rectangle. Same thing with the background. So this picture here is a 1920 1080. If, so that means it is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 tall. And that's like a standard screen for most gamers use this or a scaled up version of that and so the 640 by 320 is going to work great with drawing your picture and it will scale properly with your screen alright so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this time and make yourself a background here that that is uh, will work with your game so mine is jump dust and I imagine that jump dust is going to be up here at the top, something like this. And then I'm going to have my background here. And it can be as flattering or whatever. But I do want you guys to draw your own background. Um, I don't care if you use the stamps and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and draw mine. 
and I'm gonna pause this part of the video I'm gonna draw mine and then so it's gonna be like magic my drawings just gonna appear here for you here in just a second all right <clears throat> here is where I am at with my uh, background here I know that was like magic it was real fast so I started by I don't know drawing something I started off with like a potion then I added a table for the potion to sit on and then as I started drawing the potion I kind of turned it into like a little planetarium looking thing but anyway this is going to be what the start of my game looks like I'm just gonna take this little potion planetarium thing and I'm gonna put it on this table and then I'm gonna put the words across the top here actually you know what I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna put the words across the top but before I make any changes I'm okay with where I'm at right now I want to save this just in case I want to make some changes later so I'll go to file save as pixel now when you save it as a pixel that will allow you to actually work on it again later so I'm gonna call this uh, jump dust uh, opening or I guess I should say start menu. Background. Jump dust start menu background. That'll work. So I hit OK. Show this in the folder. So then I want to take this little guy and I have I'm copying that and I'm put it where I put all my other stuff and so hopefully you guys are learning to save your stuff in a way that you can use them later so I have like a go dot stuff and then pixel projects so these are all the pixel projects I've ever done so if I ever want to go back and change one or make you know edit I can go find this so these are the ones I made for my pixel projects and I just saved that one in there so that's good now I'm going to rearrange this just a little I'm gonna put this thing on the table here like that and I'm gonna have the top part be just the words jump dust but I'm gonna give it a black background so black background there we go so this is going to be the main title screen for mine and uh, across the top I'm going to put jump dust and I'll probably put start and quit or something like that for my menu here. So, so I'm going to do download and I want to download the picture so there it is show in folder I can just call it the same thing jump dust background image I could just say background jump dust background so there's my picture and I just need to take this and put it into my game folder so my game folder is in godot I have like a million things for mine. Uh, I think I put it in here. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to put it in my sprites folder. So there's my sprites folder and there's my background. All right, so what you guys need to do is get your background drawn. This is my background and you need to get a hold or get your um, text so there's my text so this part uh, in Godot I'm gonna put jump dust across the top like that and then I'll add the buttons on the bottom here alright I will see you guys in the next video save this stuff into your game folder so you can use it later bye